What's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and I got a problem, and that is I got all these USB thumbsticks and all these SD memory cards laying all over the place in the man cave. They keep getting lost, stepped on, the cat tries to fucking eat them, and I need a way to organize this shit. So we're going to take care of that problem right now. All right, guys. Well, I obviously got a big mess on my hands with all these USB thumb drives and camera memory sticks laying around. So I need to do something about it. So it's time to bust out the Ultimaker 3D printer and get a solution. And I love this. So far, I haven't had to 3D model anything because everything I need seems to already be out there. So I go ahead and fire up my buddy here, Thingiverse.com, which is the great go-to place for all that is 3D. And you can see I have this little customized USB stick and SD card holder here that even has my name on it. Barnacles? Wow, how'd that happen? So if you look down here, there's this Create with Customizer link. And this is something new that I just started playing with. And some of the models that are out here on Thingiverse, you can actually go and put in parameters and it'll build you a 3D model. It's actually fucking awesome. So I come out here and I'm like, all right, well, I want a USB stick and SD card holder. But you can see there's tons of options on this one. You can even have holders for caps. And I'm going to come down here and say, okay, I want to put my name on it. So let's go ahead and barnacles that some bitch up. And you can see it doesn't all... F okay, there it goes. I made it fit. Nice. So I'm going to come out here and say, well, I've got six USB memory sticks right now that I want to store. So we'll go ahead and do six. And you can see that's pretty much what I had on the screen before. So now you just click this create thing button. Thingiverse, about 10, 15 minutes later, you get an email saying all your shit's done with a link. And when you click that link, you come to this. And there it is. My own custom Barnacles one-of-a-kind printout. So now I can come down here, click on her up here, and go thing view. I can rotate around and look at it and go, oh, man, look how sweet ass this is right here. Oh, my God. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know. There's just something completely mesmerizing about being able to go to a website, punch in some parameters, have a 3D model crapped out, feed it to my printer, and actually get a solution to a real problem. So now that I've got the 3D model here, let's go ahead and download the STL file that I created, and we're going to feed it to Cura so that it can uh, slice it for the 3D printer to print. All right, guys, here we go. I've got Cura, the new version, 13.06.3. Now, this version actually kicks ass. It used to take a long time to slice stuff, but now it does it in real time. So, like, when I move stuff around, you can see there's, like, a little bar right here. It does everything in real time. So now I don't have to go, okay, prepare model for printing, wait five minutes, then put it on the memory card. It's just ready to go. So here's my model. I can place it anywhere I want on the build platform. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the center there. And uh, that's all you have to do, and it's ready to print. You can see it's uh, got my name on it still. And that's awesome. So now all we do is go up here, go to File, Save G-Code, and we just save it off to the card. And we're good to go. So I've already got the model stored on a card for you guys, so I don't have to do it again. You can see down there at the bottom it says Saved as USB Stick Caps Card Holder Belfry Underscore 2 Underscore Shitload of Numbers More Numbers and some more gibberish dot G-Code. So uh, let's go ahead and fire that up on the 3D printer and uh, turn this little 3D model into something physical we can use.
right guys, so we finally got our final product printed right here. See it says Barnacles on it. Rock solid. And now we can store our stuff. They all just slip right in. Might put some feet on it. Some rubber feet. Then for our SD cards, slide in right here. Really easy to get in and out. It's not a tight fit at all. All right, I lied. That one's a little bit of a tight fit because it's got fatty right there on the end. Here, let's trade spots. Put that one there. That's like a 128 gigabyte USB flash. But there you guys go. Another example how we can go from 3D printer to something useful. And uh, these things pretty much kick ass. But now let's uh, go ahead and find a little home for this on my desk. I think that'll work just fine. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.